BBLA 51, turn right, heading 180. Papa, turn right 245, report localised established. The Boeing 737 MAX re-emerges into headlines following the release of a downfall the case against Boeing, with the aircraft manufacturer eyeing actually an increase in production plans for its 737 series by the end of the following year. This is a significant development for the troubled aircraft that, as we know, has had more than now three years of continued ups and downs. The report by Reuters notes that the 737 MAX production would eventually rise to a total of 47 units in an attempt to improve product delivery rates and help cope with the pent-up demand, with, in addition, various markets recovering well from the pandemic in a domestic sense, and now more than ever the potential need for new aircraft being present. This would be a good step for Boeing to recover further and have some further positive light shown on the series once again. Boeing naturally needs to meet this demand that's present, and increasing production is a quick-fire way to meet that demand. In the past year, the series welcomed in some rather significant commitments from carriers around the world, including major leasing companies. Once again, you can directly cite the rise in domestic demand for aircraft following the pandemic as a key catalyst, paired of course with deals that were pretty lucrative for customers, with Boeing offering their 737 MAX with likely significant discounts. It's become a win-win, not just for Boeing, who have been able to welcome in a substantial amount of new commitments, but for the customers in question, they're getting a brilliant worthwhile deal for an aircraft that will be important for their future operations. However, ultimately for the aircraft manufacturer, it's not as simple as just increasing production. There's still a lot more that goes into it all, with focus also being put on supply chains within the industry. The various parts that allow an aircraft to, well, be produced and roll out come from all around the world, as I'm sure you do know. An increase in production also means a ramp up on supply chains around the world, and this is something that may not necessarily be as achievable or will actually take time, potentially even hindering Boeing's plans to increase that production as soon as they would like, which once again I'll reiterate is by the end of 2023. Interestingly enough, just for some comparison to this video, Boeing is working at an output of around 27 to 31 737s per month at the moment. This is at the time of recording. An increase would definitely be gradual, but would eventually jump up to 47 total units by the end of the following year. This is with thanks to sources from Reuters, who I would say are very, very reliable usually. But of course, Boeing is yet to officially confirm the rise in production. They're going to continue to research what is best for their programs, and I'm sure a decision will come from there. Boeing, of course, continues to be in a dogfight with the European aircraft manufacturer Airbus and their A320neo family, that being the direct rival to the 737 MAX, which has also been very highly successful within our industry, with an even higher production goal in place. Boeing will want to be doing everything they humanly can to win customers and orders over Airbus, as naturally you want to be better than your competition. However, it does need to be done in a way that doesn't put profits ahead of the company's intent integrity, resulting of course in the past to fatal incidents taking place, where Boeing prioritised profits, money over the safety and quality assurance of their aircraft they were putting out. Of course, with a change in business model and an emphasis being put once again on safety, you would like to think that the competition between the A320neo and the 737 MAX down the line will hopefully heat right back up. If you have any thoughts on Boeing looking at increasing their production of the 737 series as they continue to attempt to build upon the recertification from various aviation regulators and really attract more positive news to the aircraft, you can let me know down in the comments and start a dialogue there. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video here on the channel.